Stories about players that go out of their way to be cruel to NPCs. Not players. Small Game with Friends, 5th edition, Party of Four. Be My Friend, Hobgoblin Conjuration Wizard. Alright, just stop right there. We don't need it. We, we already know. Right? <laughs> Hobgoblins. Like, we get it. We get it. Rest of the party is not important. Player is the de facto leader of the group due to his more in depth knowledge of the rules and our character's abilities. Sneaking around a castle solo. Misty stepping and sneaking around. Finds a narrow corridor with a single guard on watch. Takes out the guard with Toll of the Dead. Brings body with him. At the end of the corridor, there is a courtyard with four knights doing rotations. Heads back to the middle of the corridor. Casts pass wall on the floor. Five by eight feet, 20 feet deep. We have no idea what he's doing at this point and he will not tell us. Dumps the guard's body in the hole. Goes back out to the courtyard and casts detect thoughts. Probes the knight closest to him. Still no clue what he's doing. Knight is worrying about his daughter. Knight now knows he is being probed. Wiz Misty steps back to the corridor and casts minor illusion on the pass wall to make it look seamless with the floor. Up casts a fourth level cloud of daggers at the bottom of the hole, shredding the guard's body into a bloody sludge. Oh no. <laughs> Hides in the shadows and casts message on the night. Apparently he can go round corners. Tells him that his daughter is in trouble and he needs to hurry down the corridor. Insight fail. He rushes down the corridor. Falls down the pit. Fall damage. Blended. Screams. Blended to death. One other knight comes to investigate. Falls down the pit. Oh my Fuck god. Sake. Fall damage. Blended. Screams. Blended to death. The last two knights come. The first one falls down the pit. Fall damage. Blended. Screams. Blended to death. Last one knows what's up. Wiz steps out from the shadows. Casts immolation. Screams. Burns to death. Apparently, ruthless efficiency wasn't the only trait he inherited from his German heritage. <laughs> Honestly, though, like I, I know that sounds really cool and all, but it is effective. Yeah. And but Jesus Christ, <laughs> it works. It, it works. I'm like, you know, I feel to, I feel to feel too bad, you know. Yeah. Well, let's well, keep going. What, what's the next part? Say. I can't stop thinking about this. We have no clue why he did this. He could have just used a single misty step to cross the courtyard. Instead, he burned two second level slots, and fourth level slot, and a second fifth level slot. We asked him why he threw the guard's body down the blender, and he said that so when the knight dies, he would think that his daughter got shredded too. <laughs> okay, that's D a bit metal. <laughs> DM temporarily shifts his alignment to chaotic evil. No one else in the party or the world technically knows that he did this, but we know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, like, you know, okay, that is particularly a cool way of killing someone, but, like, you know, is it any more cruel than just setting them on fire? Somebody, like, you know. Somebody say cruel? Do you mean beast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, let's be serious. Like, guys, I know that I know that sounds horrible and all, but I would love to see that personally. If I was sitting at the table and I saw that effective. shit, I'd, I'd be cheering that boy on. So very, like, very effective. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Playing D&D 5th edition, because of course we are, always plays the same two types of characters. Strength-based DPS characters, that is either Barbarian or Paladin. Everyone, like, like, <laughs> that, that's like, a very common stereotype. very common. If there isn't going to be combat every five minutes, he will switch to a rogue that just steals everything or a wizard to just fuck with people. You. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I'm feeling personally victimised here, okay guys? <laughs> The only role play he ever does is when he gets to torture somebody, like destroying kobold eggs in front of its mother, or just beating up a prisoner. Try to make himself look like a badass, make a joke which picks fun at a PC or an NPC, or try to take advantage of another person to get free shit. <laughs> That's not me, Megan. I'm not as bad as that. <laughs> Don't even give me that. I am nowhere near as bad as that. But I'm not overly cool for the sake of being cool. No, you're not. I, I don't no, think I am. No, it's not. more, I'm, 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 I'm cool to be to get what I want. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Well, yeah, I'm, look, it's not just random acts of um, cruelty. You know what I mean? I, I don't think either of my characters are particularly mean. Well, they are mean, but they're not malicious. Does that make sense? No, they're just... Cunning. Cunning would be a bit good word. Or cunts. <laughs> yeah, okay, they're cunts. Yeah, okay, I'm, I can't argue with that. Only gives himself disabilities to get a combat wheelchair. <laughs> 
Like one thing to play a blind character to act like a beggar, but also starting off with a magic cloak to see in all directions to steal stuff, as well as being a wizard. Eh, uh, I've never been a big fan no. of that. Remember, there was one fellow I was going to play with, and he wanted to play kobold, but the problem with kobolds is they have like this thing with the light and all that, yeah. so he wanted yeah. sunglasses, but then that was just going to negate the. You know what I mean? Because kobolds actually get some pretty cool abilities. Yeah, they do. Meta gamed his way to find a hidden room I was in to kill a kobold I was interrogating. Have kobolds taken the place of goblins recently? They must have. Like, you know, just simple, go gavel, every story everyone gives I them a point on the read, head. It's all, it's all kobolds. I've never been a big kobold fan, personally. I'm, I'm more of a goblin. A goblin yeah. I'm more of a goblinoid. Orc supremacy, all that. <laughs> Fuck you, kobold. You're just shit tier dragons and everyone knows it. <laughs> Played a six month long game and left an important NPC to bleed to death so he contrived to get the final kill shot on an enemy that was already subdued. I managed to save the NPC, and then have the balls to announce out loud his job of protecting said NPC is done, and wants his reward now. <laughs> <laughs> Money please. Money please. Hand it over. Another time gets angry at me out of character for not killing a helpless person. Earlier wanted to murder Hobo, a travelling merchant, before I stopped him. And this is just the shit he's done for trying to be on OP's topic. The DM kept giving him overpowered items, thinking it would get him to roleplay more. Oh no, <laughs> no that's a like, bad idea. I, I, I'm sorry, like the guy, <laughs> the guy's just a standard murder hobo. Yeah. Like you know that murder hobos be murder hobos. But I, honestly, I, 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 it I, sounds like, like he's having fun. It, it does sound like he's having fun. It's just it and sounds he's like he's not like being a dick, and he's not like really real like derail in the whole campaign. Let yeah. Me. Like, you know, like if he's causing that much of an issue, like, you know, I'm sure you can sort it out in character with yeah. other players that are like, fuck you, we don't want to hang about with you, get the fuck, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's bound to be some way of dealing yeah. with that. Okay, I got one. DMing for a group. Same campaign one year plus. All get to be good friends. Comfortable with one another. One player always brings baggage to table. When he's in a good mood, he is the delight of the table and centre of the laughter. If a little chaotic stupid me <laughs> when he's had a bad day or the game's making him mad he doesn't hide it and acts out in character his PC will argue with other PCs he'll outwardly call things stupid actively sabotage plans and just generally be a dick he's in one of those moods one day players just finished a long grilling fight where players messed up and sprung a trap involving a shit ton of orcs and them almost dying the problem player grabs the captive orc they kept alive for questioning, saws off all of its limbs in excruciating detail, cauterizes the wounds, gouges the eyes and stuffs them with rags, breaks all teeth and cuts out tongue. Well, cutting out the tongue is not going to do you much favors if you want the information. I know. Wraps 30 foot of iron chain around neck to fashion collar and leash, all while he's casting healing spells on the orc to keep him barely alive. He's a fucking life cleric, by the oh, way. Oh, God. The rest of the party is not okay with this, both in and out of character. He basically calls them all bitches and says that this orc is a slave now and he can do as he pleases. Sorcerer PC subtly casts a spell to put orc out of misery. Problem player enraged. Have to cut the session right there to prevent both in and out of character PvP. If you have a player like that at your table, the only solution is asking them to leave. I had to eventually with this player and others like him. There's no easy way to do it. You just have to do it. We play these games to have fun. Why waste your time doing anything else? That exactly is exactly why best. that is. That should be the slogan of this fucking channel. Channel. Honestly, why waste we, your time? We play these games <laughs> to have fun. fun. Yeah. Why waste your time doing anything I, else? I, I do, exactly. I do think there is ways of talking to people, though. I do think there is ways to talk to people. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm gonna admit, I'm gonna give you one, give guys one that I did a while back. So. Um, this was a game I played a while back. I was playing a paladin, and it was Garbo was actually DMing it, so he was. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were heading north. We were we were going into like pagan territory and stuff like that. And uh, we came across one. Actually, you know what? I'll start earlier. So we're we, no. This gets really out of hand. Megan, this <laughs> I entire, know, we, this I know actually, what we, you're going to say. We made a video. There was actually a video of it. I'll see if I can link it down below if you guys want <laughs> the entire context. Um, so we go to this village. We find uh, an inn. Some people decide to stay at the inn. 
the inn is filled with rats, and I mean flooded with rats. Like, there's millions of them. There's absolutely millions of them. Uh, we get overrun. Um, things get out of hand. Um, the tavern ends up burning down, or the inn, sorry. Um, the rats that are on fire it turns into, like, this hyper-mega swarm. Like, something <laughs> from Vermintide. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, think Skaven. And they flood out, and the rest of the town burns down. Because the rats are on <laughs> yeah, fire. Because the rats are on fire, and the entire village catches fire. It gets really out of hand. Um, yeah, we end up getting in that wagon and going like, fuck, so we did. It was really <laughs> bad. Um, that was one thing that happened in that session. The other bit that happened was we found this pagan. Um, he was the last of the bandits. We had fucked their day up, the other ones. Uh, of course, I'm delivering holy, virtuous judgment on them. I'm um, cracking a few fingers with my hammer, breaking a few bones, but I'm trying to keep them alive. Gar- Garbo Gully just was like, no, he's going to die. He's like, ha ha, lay on hands. Ha ha, you can tell Every Gar- time he died, just bring him back, torture more. And yeah, it's like, like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm getting this fucking information, whether you have it or not. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, okay, Garbo wasn't happy with me. The rest of the pe- people in the group could see what I was doing. They probably weren't happy with me either. <laughs> am I that problem player? Yes, like, you I, are. We've look, said this before, James. I probably am. Yeah, yeah. you are. Okay, look, next post. <laughs> next post. Hey, guys. Do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. (laughs) (laughs) We got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at (laughs) neckbeardia.co.uk. Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. When Death Watch was released, I got a party together to run a fairly lengthy campaign, in it involving Eldar, Neds, Orcs, and even some... Herd. 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 Yeah, no one even cares about the Herd. Uh, <laughs> Minor <laughs> Xenosleys that I'm pretty sure like vast majority of people don't even know about. <laughs> They're that redundant. Had to wing it on a few rules, but worked out fine. The party consisted of a varied mix of chapters, except for one player. He took me aside while everyone else was sampling the snacks on offer and asked if he could play a member of the Alpha Legion, pretending to be an ultra smurf. This is not going to end well at all. I just gave him some extra objectives he had to accomplish and it would add an interesting extra element to the game. Thought on it for a bit and agreed giving him the objective of killing another member of the party. I figured he'd do it first session. He was a fairly new guy to our group who we hadn't got much of a handle on yet. Quiet generally, but not a complete prop, thought this would be a good chance to figure him out. Now this campaign is still ongoing, our latest session was last night. Now over the course of the campaign, we had avoided killing his target, had even saved his life multiple times with the rest of the party frequently praising him as the dependable member of the team. Famed among the party for going out of his way to save the people of the Imperium, frequently saying, we all go home or nobody goes home. So many times he could have simply left the target to die, and he didn't. Even getting injured a few times, saving him. I thought he had forgotten his mission until tonight. He's doing this well then. Mm-hmm. That's, that's pretty good on. The party were fleeing from a never-ending horde of nids who were chasing them through some caves. The Alpha's target got crippled by a trap that had been laid earlier. One the party had laid as part of the complex plan they had worked out. Dealing with this slowed them down to the point where the horde would catch up with them if they tried to carry him. So the Alpha gives him this void bomb I'd given him as a loot a while back and takes the heavy bolter off one of the other members, giving them to his target. He sets the timer on the bomb for a few minutes and tells his target to die well, then props him up against the rock so he can shoot at the nids as they come down the tunnel. The entire party has this manly tears moment as the Alpha insists we see how long the target lasts against the horde of nids, with his heavy boulder meaning the combat is all acted out while the rest of the party has long since escaped. The target survives until the bomb goes off, although by this point he's punching a lictor that's trying to eat his face. The bomb detonates killing the target and the nids in the vicinity with the bomb planted earlier destroying the rest of them. The party escapes and the alpha player isn't looking pleased with himself or anything. I asked him later if he planned this and he pulls out the maps drawn up earlier which the party used to work out his plan. He points out that the tunnel trap which took off the target's legs was not only his idea 
but was the only trap in the tunnel which was no doubt going to become their escape route as the planned escape route was actually not going to work despite what the rest of the party thought. He pointed out that the target consistently took point with him always covering the party rear. He could also be counted on to not object to such a courageous and awesome death with the rest of the party too focused on how brave and manly it is to think about what happened. He planned it. At that point I realised the fucker had planned it. He had spent all that time studying the target, then killed him in a way that completely removes suspicion from him. Motherfucking Alpha Legion. I'm still wondering if I should give him another target. Oh, you need to give him another now you target. Do. That's oh, that, that is that is that is peak like to me. Alpha Legion may, planning. P, CIA may as well be uh, sorry CIA <laughs> Alpha Legion may as well be CIA at this point <laughs> oh sweet no that is that's really cool I love that I love that he was able to do it yeah. and get away with it yeah. at the same time and not even out of character not even at least a not suspicion not the slightest bit of suspicion that it's is so good that, that is really good I I wish I could ever achieve even something close to this because that I'm this, not smart enough. No, I'm not smart enough either to be able and to pull this. Away. Yeah, I would. I would. I would be. I'd be too chuffed myself. Like, <laughs> hey guys, uh, <laughs> actually, I did this. I couldn't help myself. I really couldn't help myself if I had managed to pull this off. I couldn't keep it a secret. Oh, that's so good. That's very good in particular. Do you guys have anything like this? The only other story I can think of that would even compare is you wouldn't know what Megan. It was in text speech. It was Elf Slayer. It was actually mm-hmm. one of my very, very early videos. I see a lot videos. of people mention Elf Slayer. I want to go back and redo Can that redo story. It? Um, it is a very good one, but it gives me that type of vibe. Vibe feel. from it. That's very good. Very happy with that. Well, I think we're going to end it there. I must say, in this one, I don't know if it's cool or if it's just beast let's be serious because yeah. that first one was outstanding <laughs> and that last one was oh that, that that's ball tangling in my opinion <laughs> I, would, I would say both of them really high end really enjoyed them and okay yeah they may be doing a cool act but it's all to get what you want yeah you know I don't know for me personally I'm not really one for the murder hobo senseless violence yeah. for the sense of violence if that makes sense I'm more one for as long as it's serving the purpose to get what you need. Yeah. Does that make sense? That I don't know. Sense. Yeah. Um, but if you have stories like this of your own, write them in the comments oh, below. Oh, definitely, definitely. Definitely. If we, if we get enough them. of them, we'll do a video on them. If we get enough good, good ones. Like, yeah, uh, and while you're down there, check out the links to the website to see the models, the t-shirts, and all the subclasses that we have. They're pretty cool and it helps oh, us out yeah, a lot. Oh, yeah, it does help us out a lot. Um, and hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.